Well, Kentucky is one of three states to have off-year election. And for Kentucky, their primary election is next Tuesday, May 16th. Six statewide offices, including the governor's race, are up for grabs this election season. Gail McClanahan is in our Huntington newsroom with a preview tonight. Races with only one candidate automatically advance to the November election, but the race everyone will be watching on Tuesday is the Republican contest for Kentucky governor. That attempt to get that nomination has become a horse race. Political analyst Tom Matajasek believes the Republican race for Kentucky governor will come down to two candidates, Kelly Kraft and Daniel Cameron. And I think what's really interesting about this, it's such a change for the Republican Party that the top two candidates for that nomination are an African-American and a woman. So it really shows that that party has uh, reached out, tried to broaden its base. He says the determining factor of who wins the primary will be who shows up at the polls. What do you think turnout will be like on Tuesday? Uh, it'll be somewhere between 10 and 20 percent. I'm fairly confident that's the range that we've been in within the last decade. I'd love to see it higher. Secretary of State Michael Adams says contributing factors to the expected low voter turnout is independents cannot vote in primaries and Democrats have only two contested races on Tuesday. As for the Republican race for governor. Is there aren't a lot of distinctions among the candidates in terms of their platforms or positions. And so without that contrast, there's not a whole lot to, to draw a lot of interest. So if you can get your voters out, uh, you can certainly upset the polling predictions. It matters who the governor of the state is. It matters who the secretary of state of the state is. These are critical offices. They have immense uh, influence. In the race for attorney general, there is only one Democrat and one Republican, so that race will not be on the primary ballot on Tuesday. It will be on the November ballot, along with five other statewide offices. In the Huntington Newsroom, Gil McClanahan, Eyewitness News.